piecing, you want to take your green chunky yarn and using the same 4mm hook, we are going to do start off basically the same as the conquer and we're going to chain four to begin. So you do exactly the same as for the conquer, chain four, one, two, three and four. And then put your hook into your first chain and bring the yarn through and bring it straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch and then you've created a little loop of your chains joined at the beginning and the end and in the middle should be a little hole if you can see there don't confuse it with the chain one there it is a little hole so we'll put our hook into there and again we're going to do six single crochet in the arm through the middle and wrapping it around the chains it doesn't matter how many chains you've got now you're just wrapping it around them got six single crochet so one two three four six so we've got six single crochet wrapped around those chains let's pull the tail end a little bit to bring in the hole and then we want to slip stitch into our first single crochet so one two three four five six find that first single crochet and put your hook in there bring the arm through that single crochet straight for the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. You've still got a stitch count of six. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create these little nubbin bits like you get on the outside of the casing. And to do that we are going to, first of all we're going to do the same thing as we did for our conquer. We're just going to chain one and we're going to ignore that as a stitch. And we're going to do one single crochet in the same single crochet we just slip stitched into. So go back into that same single crochet and do a single crochet in there. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Okay, but we're going to ignore these as stitches. And then go back into the same stitch again and do another single crochet. And then we are going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. So go into the next stitch and do two single crochet, one and another one in the same stitch. Okay, so you've got two in the next stitch. Then in the next stitch we're going to do one single crochet then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to go back into the same stitch again and do another single crochet. Okay. Then we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch, one, and another one in the same stitch, two, small yarn. Then in the next stitch we're going to do one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, then going back into the same stitch again, do one single crochet. Okay. And, uh, and that's it, we've got to the end. So I think if we got to the end, no, I think we've got one stitch left. In the last stitch we're going to do two single crochet. One and another one in the same stitch, two. So we end on just two single crochet. Okay, so we did one single crochet in the same stitch. We started off in the same stitch we slip stitched into. We did one single crochet, chain three, one single crochet, 
two single crochet in the next stitch, then one single crochet, chain three, one single crochet, the next stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch, then one single crochet, chain three, one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch, and that's where we are. And by the end of that round, not including your chain threes, we should have a stitch count of 12. Okay, so ignoring all your chains, just the single crochets, you should have a stitch count of 12. And what you want to do is find that first single crochet that you made here, just to the side of your chain three, and do a slip stitch into there. Okay, to join the round. It should look like a little triangle shape, which is quite pretty in itself. Then what we're going to do is we're going to chain one. Again, don't count that as a stitch. We're going to do one single crochet in the same single crochet we just slip stitched into. Let's do one single crochet in there. Okay. And then we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. But what you need to do is you need to skip those three chains, one, two, three. Then finding the next single crochet, which is just there, the other side of the three chains, we're going to do two single crochet. But what you want to do is making sure your yarn is behind your three chains, bring that through, and just before you finish your single crochet, just pop your three chains to the front, like so. Just pop them to the front, and then pull down a bit and then finish your single crochet. So your single crochet is tucked behind the little three chains. We want another, go back into the same stitch again and do another single crochet. So you end up with two in there, one, two, okay? Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're just going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, just one single crochet. Then two single crochet in the next stitch. Go into the next stitch and do two single crochet, one and another one in the same stitch. Okay, and then we do one single crochet in the next stitch, which is just to the right of your three chains, and then we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. So what you need to do is skip those three chains, same as before, find the next single crochet just to the left of them there, and again making sure your yarn's at the back bring that through and just before you complete it tuck your three chains to the front pull down a bit and do a single crochet you want two in there so go back in there again do another one so you've got two single crochet in there okay then one single crochet in the next stitch just the one then two single crochet in the next stitch one and Another one in the same stitch, two. Then one single crochet in the next stitch, just to the right of your three chains. Then two single crochet in the next stitch. So skip your three chains, one, two, three. You should find your single crochet there. You want to make sure the yarn's behind the back again. Bring that through, tuck your little three chains to the front. And do a single crochet. We want two in there, so go back into the same stitch, do another one. Two single crochet in there. Then one single crochet by itself in the next stitch. Then finishing up with two single crochet in the last stitch. One and another one in the same stitch. You may wish to use a stitch marker if you get a little bit lost, but what we want to do now is slip stitch. So that there is actually a fake stitch where we slip stitch. You want to find that first single crochet you made. So ignore that. You don't want to go in there. You want to go into that first single crochet you did and do a little slip stitch to join the round. Okay, so it should look like that. All your little three chain nubbins should be uh, facing the front. And you should have a stitch count of 18. Okay, so I'm just going to check that. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yep, you should have a stitch count of eighteen. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next round, and this round is a round for creating some more 
nubbins as I call them, these little pointy bits. So same thing again, we're going to chain one to begin, chain one, and we want to do that one single crochet in the same stitch we slipped stitched into, so one single crochet in there, okay, and then one single crochet in the next stitch as well, and that's actually just behind your three chains, so one single crochet in that next stitch. And then we want two single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet, one and another one in the same stitch, two. Okay. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two, so one single crochet in the next stitch, then one single crochet in the next stitch, and then we are going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, one, two, three, and then go back into the same stitch again and do another single crochet. Okay, so one single crochet, chain three, one single crochet, all in the next stitch. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch by itself. One single crochet in the next stitch, and it's just behind your three chain. Then two single crochet in the next stitch. One, and another one in the same stitch, two. Then one single crochet in the next stitch. Get some more yarn. One single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to do one single crochet, chain three, one single crochet. So one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three. Go back into the same stitch and do a single crochet in there as well. Okay. Then we are going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch. Then two single crochet in the next stitch. One and another one in the same stitch, two. Then that should leave us with three stitches left. We're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and then the very last one we're going to do one single crochet, chain three, one single crochet. So one single crochet, chain three one single crochet, go back into the same one. Okay, and then that's our little fake stitch. There's our chain one, we ignore that. We want to slip stitch into our first single crochet. Slip stitch into your first single crochet. Okay, so it should look like that now. And you should have a stitch count now of 24, not including any of your chains, and not including the chain one at the beginning, all these chain threes here. So just your single crochets, you should have a stitch count of 24. And now what we're going to do is we are going to chain one. Again, don't count that as a stitch. We're gonna do one single crochet in the same stitch as our previous slip stitch. And we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around, making sure to skip our chain three. So one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch. So there's the last one. Then you want to skip your chain three, one, two, three, find that next, you just pull the chains, it helps it easier to see the stitch. Making sure the yarn's behind, bring that through, then pop your three chains to the front, make sure that the front, and then do your single crochet, and just carry on doing one single crochet in each stitch around to the next three chains. One left, 
then again skip the three chains one two three you can just pull them go into the next stitch make sure the yarns at the back bring that through and then tuck your three chains to the front and do your single crochet and carry on doing your one single crochet in each stitch around to the next three chains Three chains, one, two, three, and we should have one single crochet left on the end. That's it. Make sure the arms at the back, bring that through, pop your three chains to the front, and do your last single crochet, and then that's our fake stitch, and there's our first single crochet. So we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet to join the round. It should still have a stitch count of 24 after that. Okay, all your little three chains should be facing the front. Okay, so right, moving on to round six. We're going to chain one again, do the same thing again, one single crochet in the same stitch we slip stitched into. And we're going to do one single crochet in the next four. So one, next stitch, two, Next stitch three, next stitch four. Okay, so one single crochet in the next four. Then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And this time we're just going to do a little slip stitch in the same stitch. Okay, so the last stitch you just single crocheted into, go back into there, do a little slip stitch. And we're not going to count this as a stitch either, it's just to make sure our little three chains look good. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next five. So next stitch one, next stitch two, next stitch three, just tucked by our three chain, next stitch four, next stitch five. I've got my tail in caught up in there. Five, and then we're going to chain three again one two three slip stitch into the same stitch you just did your last single crochet let's do a little slip stitch in there don't count that as a stitch then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two one in the next stitch one in the next stitch but now what we're going to do is we are going to do some single crochet foundation stitches. Um, don't worry if you've never heard of that before. Um, I will, I'll put a link in the description to a tutorial on this specifically, but I'll go fairly slowly. And what you want to do is starting in, in the next stitch, you want to do our first foundation stitch. So go into the next stitch and bring the yarn through as normal. But this time we're going to create a foundation stitch and to do that we basically chain so we yarn over bring the yarn through the first loop only like that and that creates a little foundation chain then we yarn over and pull for the last two like normal single crochets so there's our single crochet there's our little chain foundation chain so that's our first single crochet foundation chain we need to do 11 of these now where we're going to put a hook, we're going to put our hook into that chain we just created on the left here. So just tuck your hook onto that bit of yarn there and then just move it over slightly and find the other bit of yarn. So it's a proper stitch. Bring the yarn through there. We do the same thing again. We yarn over, pull for the first loop only to create our next foundation chain. Then yarn over, pull through the last two to do a normal single crochet and then we put our hook into that second foundation chain that we created which is there put our hook under there 
move it over slightly, get it onto the next bit of yarn. There we go. Bring the yarn through, create our next foundation chain there, our third one. Then do your single crochet. That's normal. So there's our third chain. You see these chains here? One, two, three. Don't confuse it with this loop here, which is your single crochet. So you've got the main stitch there, then you've got this loop, ignore the loop, and there's the actual stitch you want to be working into. So again, we put our hook into that third one up, and do our next one. Bring the yarn through, create our next, just pull for the first loop only to create our fourth foundation chain, then do our single crochet. So there's your stitch, there's the loop, there's our fourth foundation chain. Same thing again. We want 11 of these. So, five. Next one. The last one. And if you're really struggling with doing these, you can just chain 10. But if you do decide to chain 10, you'll want to do a normal single crochet in that next stitch. Okay, so you want to do one single crochet in the next three. But you should have done, hopefully done, um, 11 single crochet foundation stitches. Now what we want to do is we want to skip 10 stitches on the main circle. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which should actually take you to your very last stitch. And in there, last stitch on the round you want to just do a single crochet like so and then we slip stitch into our first single crochet to join the round slip stitch into there to join the round so it should look like that we should have a nice gap here for wherever our little opening is going to be the great thing about doing single crochet foundation stitches is it just creates nice easy stitches to work in both sides. It creates a nicer start. It's great for using at the beginning of projects so if you can master this it's a really useful technique. But I'll put a link in the description to that tutorial in slower more detail if you want to check that out. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to chain one. Again don't count that as a stitch and we go straight into that same first single crochet we slip stitched into and do a single crochet in there. I want to do one single crochet in each stitch around so we've still got a stitch count of 24. Okay so making sure to skip your chain there's our last single crochet skip your chain threes one two three and then making sure to skip your three chain but you also want to skip your slip stitch as well so don't crochet into that slip stitch you want to make sure you find that next proper single crochet and again making sure to keep those chains to the front you might want to just pull it tuck it tight and carry on to the next three chains doing one single crochet in each stitch along One left there. Then skip the next three chains and you want to make sure you skip that slip stitch as well. Find the next proper stitch. Do your one single crochet. I need to make sure to keep that yarn at the back. Tuck those chains forward. Do that single crochet. And then we're on to our foundation chains, so we can just do one single crochet in each stitch along there, and they should be nice and easy to see.
then there should be one more right on the corner and then we're back at the beginning so we just want to slip stitch into our first single crochet let's join the round like so okay should still have a stitch count of 24 okay so it should look a little something like this okay and now what we're going to start doing is decreasing our pattern so same thing again chain one and do your one single crochet in the same stitch as your previous slip stitch then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to single crochet two together so next stitch pull through stop next stitch pull through three loops yarn over pull full three the same on the conquer then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two so one single crochet in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch behind your three chains then we're going to single crochet two together next stitch pull through stop next stitch pull through yarn over pull through all three now what we're going to do is we're going to do a chain three chain one two three and we need to slip stitch into the same stitch that we finished our single crochet two together on do a little slip stitch in there okay so the same stitch your single crochet two together ended on it doesn't really matter where you do your little um, chain threes um, but as long as they're sort of evenly spaced out and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch then we're going to single crochet two together And then we are going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch. And then single crochet two together. Then we're going to do chain three. One, two, three. Slip stitch into the same stitch that your single crochet two together ended on don't count these slip stitches as a stitch they're just to get the right pattern uh, then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch single crochet two together one and two and then we're going to chain three one two do a little slip stitch in the same stitch as your previous single crochet two together. Okay, then that should leave you with four stitches, and then we do one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and then single crochet the last two together one and two. And then we slip stitch in our first single crochet. And by the end of that round, not including your slip stitches or chain threes or your chain one at the beginning, you should have a stitch count of 18. Okay, so double check that. Two, four, skip all of those. Six, seven, eight, skip all of those. Ten, twelve, thirteen, skip all those. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so you should have a stitch count of. 18. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we are going to chain one again and do one single crochet in the same stitch as your previous slip stitch. And we're going to do the next, we're going to single crochet the next two together. Single crochet the next two together. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch and single crochet the next two together then we need to skip our three chains and our little slip stitch and find the next stitch and do one single crochet in there making sure to keep those 
chains to the front, do one single crochet, single crochet the next two together, then one single crochet, the next stitch, single crochet the next two together, then we're going to skip the three chains and that slip stitch do one single crochet in that next stitch making sure to keep those chains to the front as best as you can so one single crochet in that next stitch single crochet two together Oops. and then skip three chain and that slip stitch and find the next stitch and do one single crochet making sure to keep those chains to the front a bit fiddly one single crochet in that stitch that should leave you with two stitches and we single crochet those two together okay and then we slip stitch as our fake stitch I'm going to slip stitch into that first single crochet to join the round. And our stitch count should have gone down to 12. Should have gone down to 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too fiddly for you. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to finish up. No more nubbins. We're just going to chain one. And starting in the same stitch that we slip stitched into we're going to single crochet two together starting in that first stitch and a single crochet two together to the end so one and two single crochet those two together three and four crochet together five and six crochet together Five, seven and eight crochet together and eight and nine and ten crochet together and the last two eleven and twelve crochet together you have to flatten it down to get the last two and then, if you can, slip stitch into that first single crochet two together. Slip stitch into there to join the round. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do what we did with the conker. Cut our yarn. Pulling the yarn up. Going to thread it onto our yarn needle. And draw string the end closed. So we're going to go into the next stitch, then out for the next stitch, then into the next stitch, out for the next stitch, into the next stitch, and out the next stitch. Okay, so that's nice and closed. And then we just sew to the inside, turn it inside out, and just secure into place by just sewing through your yarn a bit and trim the excess these are hidden on the inside anyway so don't worry too much and there we go there is our almost finished little horse chestnut case and the last thing to do now is just to work some white around the edge so taking some white chunky yarn this is I'm going to start off in one of the corners so just put your hook in a corner stitch. You don't need to worry about stitch counts. I'm going to bring our yarn through there and do a little chain one. Pull that nice and tight. I'm going to do a single crochet in there as well. And I'm going to work one single crochet along the edge. Then to the Corner. I think I'll just go behind that chain three first and then into the corner. I'll just come down a little bit further. 
Don't need to worry too much about the stitch count. Just make it look nice and neat. And then up the other side. We're going to be working into these um, foundation chain stitches. So what I do is should be fairly easy to work into. Okay, so I'm almost at the end, which is good because my battery is exhausted apparently. And when you get back to the beginning, you just slip stitch into that first single crochet we made to join around. Okay. And then just cut your yarn. Lost my scissors. Cut your yarn, and then we just need to tie in all our tail ends. So I'm going to do that, and then I shall come back and show you the finished horse chestnut. And there we go, there is our finished casings. So all we need to do now is to take our little conker and pop him inside, like so. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you managed to follow along as quite a long one than I expected actually and I hope it's inspired you to create some uh, woodland themed crochet creations and maybe you'd like to uh, make some for the woodland project um, whatever you'd like to do I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you soon with some more crochet fun thanks for watching guys bye